Good morning, guys. So, I am just watching YouTube this morning and making some breakfast because I got 45 minutes before work, so I have plenty of time to cook me up some breakfast. I am going to cook up the hot dog that my co worker got me. Super excited. And I'm going to make Hanky um, his hot dogs. When we get kids and stuff, and then catch. Yes. When we get kids, we probably won't have that table. When we have kids, we won't have this cat. <gasps> what do you think about that, Cookie Bear? How does that make you feel? This isn't very old. But I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see. But can you see all the roots? I'll show you. So this is the chocolate mint and the spearmint. You can see they have a couple roots on them, but not many. Oof. I'm glad I'm coming out here. Everything needs watered really bad. It looks like my sunflowers are about to bust open. Um, but there is a zucchini that can be picked. Oh my gosh, this got way too big. God, look at that. Way too big. <sighs> Fresh zucchini. I know there was one over here I saw a couple days ago, which could be picked as well. Yes. So there's two over here, but these can stay another day. My zucchini out. I watered all these. I don't know if I've shown you. You know, some of them are doing okay. Um, some of them not so much. Like this one, it's got these awesome green leaves on them, but all the other leaves are dying. But the new growth is amazing looking. Good morning, guys. I don't know how well you can see, but I got up earlier, hung out with Hank for a couple minutes. He left for work, so I laid back down and watched um, some YouTube. I have a pack schedule today between getting my car washed and going to my doctor's appointment, meeting up with my in-laws, well, my mother-in-law, and then I think that's it. So by the time Hank comes home, it will be good. There's a guy on Craigslist I'm trying to meet up with too, but he's not responding. And honestly, I don't care. I'll go by myself if I can. He has some fig figlets, and I really want them. I'm a fig hoarder, guys. I know. But when they're free, they're free, and I love figs. I love fig trees. Like, I've never even had, like, a legit fresh fig before in my So I'm making breakfast this morning, but with breakfast, I really wanted some coffee. I'm not, like, a huge coffee person, but I have this delicious stuff, this Vito Coco Cafe. Um, it's... A. I am reading that it contains skim milk. And I haven't had any in a couple months, so they expire in a couple days. I'm like, oh, I'll have it. It's coconut water coffee. Sh shoot! They had cow's milk to these. So I have this all mixed up, mixed together. I did the research on the Hershey cocoa stuff to make sure that was vegan. And then pouring it all in and come to find out that's not even freaking vegan. So I'm going to have to make my own dang coffee. Ugh, so I'm just going to throw this out. That's it. Whatever's going in the trash can. Ice cubes are going in the trash can. All right, let's see if I can make my own coffee this morning so I can. So I'm heating up some water right now to make some instant coffee. <sighs> so I guess I'll throw those out because I'm not gonna drink them and Hank doesn't like them. What a bummer, dude. Oh well. Um. So, so I watched Earthlings. Um, I didn't cry. I thought I'd cry, and it didn't move me as much as I thought it would move me. So. The thing, that, the thing that really got me was something that was kind of in my face and personal. When a client told me, oh my gosh, it makes me upset. <laughs> when a client told me that there was a Chinese restaurant where I worked that had a cat hanging in the back. And that just made me think, like, in some countries that's normal. And then other countries eating cows not normal. And, like, there's always something that something's, you know, it's someone's animal. It's someone's, I don't know. It's, how would you feel if someone came and ate your dog? That's pretty much, like, the same thing. It's a goat, it's an animal, it has feelings, and you're eating it. And that I've, since I've been on this kind of vegan path the last, I think, two and a half weeks now, I read more and more into the forums about veganism, and usually I'm just looking, is it vegan? And if it's not vegan, they talk about why it's not vegan, or the trace amounts of animal product that's floating inside, or what you don't think is... Like, even kosher things. Like, from the Earthlings movie, I did learn that 
just because it's kosher and the animal died peacefully, it's not really kosher. At the end of the day, I never liked milk. And it, it was just one thing that got me to turn over from stop drinking milk and it was a description of what milk was. And I, after that, I literally never drank milk again. But I did I eat ice cream because in the back of my mind, I put that, well, it's frozen. Being a part of someone's suffering is right. Okay, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> like, reading forms just mess with your head and then you just realize how effed up the world really is. It's crazy. So, I don't know how much of this last clip I kept in because I'm crying like a baby for... Well, good reason, but it's too early to be crying. So, I am making some java chip frappuccino right now. So, I'm getting ready to leave for all my little appointments today. But I think I'll have time to come back home and make some lunch after my eye appointment. I'm not sure. I kind of want to go look at glasses at another place. I like Costco glasses, but I don't know. So Guys, Hank is going to be so mad at me. Um, I just went to the store and all the plants were 40% off. All right, guys, I am cutting it by three minutes now, so I think I'm good. I just gotta get out of my car, get in there. I'm gonna roll down the windows a little bit for my new baby. I'm gonna spray him really good. There's some kind of fungus growing on his leaves, so I'll probably exclude him from the rest of the pack. <sighs> so I just lost my sunglasses, like literally 10 minutes ago, so I'm so happy that I have a prescription so I can get new prescription sunglasses. I've called every store, I've cleaned out my whole front seat of my car, nowhere, they're not in my purse. I'm gonna, that's the last place I had them because I looked back on my video, thank God I was recording. So I just got back from the warehouse or whatever you call it, it's a greenhouse. And they gave me additional 10% off the dying one because everything else was brown turkey, which I had. Also, it's, it's not doing very well. It's a slow to grow and it doesn't have any figs on it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna ask if they can give me 10% off. And of course, um, they kind of chuckled at me and they're like, well, it doesn't hurt to ask. And like, I feel weird, like an old person, like, can you give me a discount, like at Walmart or something? But when it comes to like co-ops like this, I feel like there should be some negotiable power, especially when things are dying or about dead. So that is what I did. So it's been a couple hours since I've talked to you guys left. I went and had lunch and it was really hard because we went to Bob Evans and everything they have is meat, cheese, or honey related. So I ended up getting a chicken, um, well it was chicken. I got a chicken, spinach, apple, like honey glazed salad. So this is what I did. I said, can I take things off this? And they're like, oh, of course. I said, take the chicken, take the cheese, take the honey roasted almonds, take the croutons, and anything meat or protein related. So it came out with spinach, apples, and cranberries on it. And my mother-in-law just looked at me like, what the heck? because that's what I ordered. And they charged me full price. So they charged me as like, they put meat and cheese on it, which they didn't, which was ridiculous. But anyways, that's fine. Um. <sighs> so I got both the kitty cats hanging out with me. And Hanky's at dark on. I don't know if I said that or not. So today's question of the day is, where do you live? I'm kind of curious. Like what states or what countries or... Um, which cities, you don't have to go any smaller than that because we don't want to stalk each other, I know. And then yesterday's question was if you could hire someone and you would never have to do it again, who would you hire? And I would be, I would pick a chef to cook me breakfast, lunch, and dinner because that takes up the most time. Even though I'd love cooking, I'd still cook. It'd be so awesome if I had someone in the kitchen at all times saying, making me breakfast when I'm waking up or settling the kids down to bed making them bottles you know that would be awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i had one more question for you guys that are super super loyal and that are still watching and if you want to and if you know how to it's like i'm not begging 
but if any of you know how to make like an end slate for me, it'd be really cool. Or like just a picture I could put at the end of all my videos, like where it says subscribe or check out last videos, and that way I can make it click a pew at the end. So thank you so much, and have a good one. Ciao.